Over in the park, stonemason Giles MacDonald is making his own pile of rubble. And with the arrival of members of the Ermine Street Guard, the place is beginning to look like a Roman building site. Giles, your task over the next couple of days is to make us a Roman column, isn't it? Not quite a whole Roman column. Uh, a bit of one, though. Is this it? No, this is part of it. We've got a base over here. Uh-huh. So the, the two together, I mean, they'll stand about four or five feet high. When you've finished, will you carve it on the outside or will you leave it smooth like that? Well, actually, what he's going to do is carve some overlapping leaves on the outside because there's a particular sort of column some, which was found in this part of the town. And this column was made to stand out in the open and carry a statue of Jupiter uh, or sometimes of a rider god, so they're usually called Jupiter columns. So presumably it would have stood higher than this? Oh, absolutely, yes. Uh, it would have looked, in fact, more or less like that. So beautiful, isn't well, it? Well, I mean, it's wonderful. It'd be nice to make one of those, but it's rather too much work. Having made it, we then got to lift it up and get it on top of the base. Who's going to do that? Not me. Is that There's the smart only street guard? There. That's <laughs> the one. <laughs> Chris? Hello. How are you going to get that cylindrical column on top of that base? Well, hopefully we're going to uh, reproduce a Roman crane, an A-frame crane. And uh, if we've done all our calculations correctly, we've uh, worked it out that we'll be able to lift that onto the column base. The Romans were noted for many things, but I'm not sure calculation or carpentry were among them. Over in the park, the crowds are gathering. The Ermine Street Guard appear to have finished the crane. It's all very well lifting a centurion, but will it be strong enough to lift over half a tonne of solid stone? Hey, George, this is going really well, and I see you press Victor into service as well. <laughs> not their trade, Phil, not their trade. <laughs> He's doing a great job, though. He's a natural craftsman, he is. isn't he? he is. I mean, this is Flatter amazing. There. I mean, I think when I saw this before, all I saw was, well, you hadn't started well, it. It was just block. a square yeah. block of stone. And now you've got this beautifully ornamented cylinder of stone, and it's got to go on there, hasn't it? On that's, the actual the base of that thing, column. Yeah. So we got the cylinder. I know we're going to use a crane, but how the hell do you attach the crane to the cylinder? Uh -huh. Very clever little device yeah? that sits in the top called a Lewis pin. A Lewis pin? A Lewis pin. And that goes in the top of the stone. Instinct yeah. tells me that if that goes yeah. in there like that... That's it. Yeah. And then as you... as that tautens up... That's it. Oh, I it's see! Sort of a scissor effect. That goes in the hole, and as you take up the tension, those ends pull apart and actually pinch in the hole. It's very simple technology, but it, it works. Despite the creaking timbers and creaking joints, the crane performs perfectly. Amazing considering it was crafted using only original materials and hand tools. Before the column can be left in the park as a permanent reminder of our visit, Giles inscribes it in the best Latin translation of Time Team. 